Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. Just going through and checking all my snakes to see if there's any snake eggs here. Really busy day today. I mean, one of the more hectic days. Look at this beautiful scaleless guard snake. Has quite a bit of scales on it, but still really cool. And like I said, really hectic day. I mean, I'm gonna be definitely scheduled hardcore today. This is actually a butter motley corn that should be laying any day, but unfortunately no eggs yet. So like I said, today's gonna be on a really tight schedule. Everything I do is gonna have to be like right on time. I think that at nine o'clock I always launch the vlog that's about a half an hour from now and I always like to spend a half hour 45 minutes commenting back then I actually have a private tour then we actually have to go pick up rabbits because some of the big snakes need to eat today oh there's an egg oh this girl is laying but she doesn't have a leg box oh what is going on? We must have missed the shed on this girl. This happens occasionally, so that is crazy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shut this. I'll make a little bit of mark on that. We'll come back and collect that later in the day. That's actually a het coral snow, and it was being bred to this coral ghost here. Ooh, doggy, that thing is beautiful. So we do have one clutch of eggs. Unfortunately, it's late on the bedding, and that's why we always check. Regardless, after I get back from the rabbits, I have to pack up and actually have two school events. Look at this Mexican black king snake. Again, not quite ready. A lot of times I'll check even the snakes that don't have the lays because if we did miss a shed, they can lay on the bedding and if you don't catch it, it doesn't happen often, but the eggs will actually go bad. So it's very important to continue on with my hectic schedule. Once I get back to my two school events, I have a couple hours to get all of my work done and then we have a movie night tonight here at the Reptarium. So it's gonna be really fun. Regardless, let's buckle up. We've got a little bit of work to do. I'm gonna check the rest of our colubrids and then we're gonna go ahead and launch the vlog this morning. As I was wrapping up, I actually did find one good clutch of eggs, which is pretty cool because it's been a little while since it seems like we've had a colubrid clutch. Like I had mentioned, we're kind of in that lull that's kind of ending the first clutches and getting close to second clutches. Regardless, this is actually an apricot pleven milk snake that just laid a beautiful clutch of eggs. We'll just keep her in like that. We'll pull these eggs out. Absolutely gorgeous clutch. No infertile eggs at all. There's two, four, six, seven. I did want to say one thing that's kind of interesting about these eggs. For whatever reason, some snakes, including pleven milk snakes, they actually are a little more yellow when they're laid but within about a week the yellow turns to white i just find that really interesting how some snake eggs actually start yellow and turn white uh, I don't know why I told you that, but I thought it was an anecdotally interesting thing. Regardless, beautiful clutch eggs. Now, let's go launch the vlog. Just wrapped up the kind of commenting back for the little bit. I've got about 15 minutes before my tour starts. I see there's a lot of geckos that hatched out uh, as per usual. So I'm gonna check in with Jessica in a minute, see what she's got going on, see if we have anything cool in there. Uh, in the meantime, Lori, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Looks like you're taking pictures, what for? Just for fun and enjoyment. Jeez, I can always I can always rely on Lori for a straight answer. Really hectic day today, Lori, so I'm gonna need all the help I can get, at least emotional support. Oh, I'm always there for you. Yeah, I know you are. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go see what Jessica has going on. Jessica, I noticed there's a bunch of geckos hatching again, huh? Yeah, well, every day. <laughs> every day. What else you got going on today? Well, for the next couple days, it's mostly gonna be feeding all the geckos. So like Monday through Wednesday, we get everything clean, me and Danny. And then we, Thursday, Friday, feed everything. Feed everything, so that's a lot yeah. of food. So I'll, I'll let you go with all your food here and uh, I'm gonna get over and get this tour started. And my first tour is here. How are you guys doing? Where are you guys from again? Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant, that's awesome. And you're the reptile lover. Yeah. All right, what do you keep so far? Uh, leopard geckos. Awesome, well that's good. Are you excited about anything in particular? Um, Just all the big snakes. Big snakes, yeah. all right. All right, we're gonna have a good time. having a good time. You're really interested in like big snakes, which I find mm -hmm. interesting because uh, you <laughs> want to go right to the big snakes. Uh, you're not so sure about it. I'm not so sure about the big snakes. <laughs> not that bad. But of course we have Perdita out right now. Isn't she truly amazing? Yes. So you said you hadn't held a snake before now. No. So this is your first time holding yeah. snakes. It is so awesome. And, and she's already held big snakes. Of course, you're holding yeah. a green anaconda now. You're doing great. I mean, for a first time, I thought you had held snakes a ton. Oh, so you're no. doing fantastic. Wow, that's awesome. 
awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much. Seriously, it's been absolutely incredible. Stay in touch. Definitely, if I can ever help with anything, I appreciate it. Have a great time, all right? You guys have a great day. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. All right, great. Thanks. So that was actually Rachel. It was her 16th birthday present. It's actually a surprise. They drove all the way from Mount Pleasant. She didn't even know where she was going until she got here. So <laughs> that was just amazing. And now it's 11 o'clock. I've got to go get these rabbits really quick. But Bruce, what do you got going on over here? Well, I got to feed some veggies and stuff like that. Uh, I got to feed tarantulas today. Okay. That's one big thing we've got to do today. And uh, a couple of water cage cleanings, things like that. Gotcha. All right, cool. Day. Well, I'll be back in like an hour and a half, two hours, all right? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, let's get on the road. Every day of my life is always absolutely crazy, but today in particular is just scheduled really tight. And what I mean by that is that literally I have to be back by one o'clock in order to go to a school presentation and it takes about an hour and a half. It is now currently quarter after 11. So that means I literally have like a 10 or 15 minute window that I have to make sure I don't lose or I'm gonna miss the school presentations, which I have to do. And that's the way the whole morning has been and that's the way the whole rest of the day is. One after another, I have these events scheduled that. I have to be on time so I'm not really good at that I'm gonna be totally honest with you I'm more of a floating type of person where I'm like yeah I'll do that about 11 and sometimes it's 12 or 1 o'clock by the time I do it so today fingers crossed we don't get into any traffic issues we get these rabbits really quick we get back to the shop because the big snakes need to eat today Hey, what's up everyone? Another normal day at BHB. We're going to be feeding today, so I've got a lot of mice and pinkies and rats to thaw out. Uh, Lori and Brian are pretty busy today with a couple of school tours, so I'm going to be switching mails around. Keep your fingers crossed. Just hoping for the best here. It is now quarter after 12, it's about a 40 minute drive. So I'm gonna be there about five minutes before I leave for my school event with Lori. So hopefully she's getting everything packed up while we're over here. And you know, I always wonder, you know, I don't take it lightly that I have to get all these rabbits. I always tell you guys, I don't take any pride in feeding other animals off and stuff like that. With that being said, I always wonder what would happen if I was ever speeding, which I do on occasion, I got to admit, and I got pulled over. What would the cops say if I had a load of frozen rabbits in the back? Uh, I gotta imagine that kind conversation would be pretty interesting. Regardless, fingers crossed we don't have any slowdowns and we get back in time. All right, made it back just in time. Gonna pack up and get out of here. Looks like Lori already loaded up all the animals. Uh, Jessica, what are you doing? You just cleaned out the day gecko? Look? Yeah, I'm cleaning it out and then I'm gonna put some real plants in there. Oh, okay, cool. That'll yeah. be awesome. That'll I be really good. I think they'll like it. Yeah, I hope so. Hopefully we'll get some eggs because I want some day gecko babies for sure. But regardless, I'm gonna go ahead and load up this vehicle. We're gonna get on the road again. I can't take you guys along on this because it's school and they don't allow us to film there. But I'll be back in a few hours and I'll leave you with the crew. I hear that Danny, our newest employee, is gonna go through an initiation where she has to feed RJ. So that should be fun. I'll find out what happens when I get back. Boom. All right, here we go. This is initiation program to BHB reptiles. All right. That's so right. Danny are relatively new employees full time now, right? So I don't know if you know this, but you've got to feed RJ with your mouth. Dude, okay. I did it. I yeah. put it in my mouth in and his I mouth. leaned down there like this and I was like, boom, accept Bang. it. It got it. Yes, we're serious. You got <laughs> to do serious. this. And if you don't, it's $100 a day for two weeks. You got to pay me and Noah, so that's 200 yeah. a day. That's 200 a day. You can't afford it. Just do your mouth. Just do the mouth thing. You just, got, thing. you just got to put it in your mouth, go over the ledge, lean over the ledge, and just hope. I mean, that's the thing is there's a lot of employees that come in here and they don't survive the test. Like That's literally, right. they just die. They so, told me. They told me that, and I said, "Is that it? Is yeah. that it? Is that it? Okay. Exactly. So uh, let's get this thing started. You ready? All right. Put the rat in your put mouth. No, <laughs> we're just joking. We're just joking. You don't actually have to do that. But what are you talking about? What? Dude? What? I really. But I put the rat in my mouth. You're just joking. I mean. I mean. Yeah. You know what? Let's yeah. just move on. That's in the past. Yeah, yeah. Let's we don't have to. On. We don't have I to worry about that. I guess you're lucky. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, so this is Danny's first time actually feeding RJ. So let's just get for it, man. Let's get right into it. Okay. I know Yo, what to do. you know what to do. Oh, she knows what to do. 
get those claps. Oh man, he's fast. Watch this out. Claps. All right. Oh man, oh man, just careful the wall there. Oh! oh, there you go. Initiation. Welcome. Thank you, Aaron. She's Welcome. teaching me. She's in. She's in. Balls she didn't. Have, she didn't have to do the mouth trick, but. Whatever, we'll do it to the next employee, I guess. Just back from the school, these events went really well. Let's go over and check on that colubrid, as well as I think I have a python clutch. All right, here we go. This girl should be done. Oh my gosh, that's a much bigger clutch of eggs than I expected. She did really good. Obviously, this was the first egg that she laid earlier today. We'll definitely candle that because it's nowhere near the other clutch. But look at that. Again, this is far from an ideal situation for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and put these eggs up here. Just make sure the female is 100% done. She looks really good and again you know how we talk about how we take the waters out once that they've actually shed there was a good chance because she didn't have a nest box in here like we normally have with the sphagnum moss that she would have went in this water dish and laid that clutch and if that was the case the entire clutch probably would have been bad so in this case the best thing could have happened number one i caught it so the eggs didn't go bad number two she didn't lay in the water regardless we have two four six eight ten 12 good eggs. Again, I'll just go ahead and candle that one. And that is actually a het coral snow. And it's been bred to this male right here. This nice oh, this nice pink male here. Look at that thing. Ooh, doggy. That thing is gorgeous. So theoretically, there will be about half the babies will come out. Coral snow like this. Oh my God. Hatch season's right around the corner. I cannot wait. That female clubber is just about done laying, which gives us a chance to check on this beautiful clutch of eggs here from this pastel female. She was actually bred to an Enchi banana pinstripe. So that should be some pretty cool lemon blast Enchi pins and Enchi pins and Enchi banana pins and all kinds of other stuff. Regardless, I'm going to get mama off her eggs right here. Looks like a really nice nice clutch of eggs right there and this one looks like it might have gotten rolled a little bit you can just tell where the paper was so we'll go ahead and candle that one get this one in here see what the other ones are like looks like everything else this one could roll a little bit too so we'll go ahead and candle that mama is ready to strike any second so i've got to be careful get this egg in here and then of course this lax egg looks like it's in good shape too so all in all we've got two four six seven good eggs mama you did so good i'm so happy and what we'll do is again we always like to clean the cage afterwards to get all that scent off we'll wash her off and stuff like that that way she hopefully goes back onto food people ask all the time why do you take the eggs away the reason is if i leave the eggs in there she's not going to eat and hardly drink for 60 days right because that's her nature she's going to coil around and protect those eggs whereas if i take away get them in an incubator not only do i have a higher hatch rate but i can also get mama back onto food usually within a few days or a week at most get her condition to breed again next year so it's really a win-win better for the mom better for the clutch regardless i'll go ahead and candle these two eggs get them in the incubator this never gets old i'm going to go ahead and give ben and jerry their food for the week and hopefully they'll eat really good for me and ben always takes first and then i'm going to try to get jerry to take his come on jerry well, weirdly enough, it looks like Jerry doesn't want to eat this week. Ben took right away. So I'm just going to go ahead and feed Ben and see what happens. I mean, there's not a whole lot else I can do. I would have loved to see both of them eat this week like they've been for the last four or five weeks. But uh, hey, at least one of them's eating, right? Guess what? Jerry finally took one. This is so weird. And it looks like Ben's almost finished. So I'm going to have to definitely try to make sure I feed Ben another one because Jerry is occupied with that. Oh my God, these crazy monkeys. Literally, Ben is finishing his second one, so he's crushed two the same time that Jerry ate one. But uh, nevertheless, I'll give these guys a few more fuzzies just to keep them nice, big, and plump. This never gets old. I mean, what a crazy thing to see both heads of a two-headed snake eat. That trip to go pick up the rabbits finally is gonna pay off because we get to feed the big snakes, all right? Let's start with Daisy. Come on, girl. Come on. Want a rabbit? Want a rabbit, girl? Come on, girl. There you go. Come on. Come on, come on, up you go. There you go, ah, there it is, sweetheart, there it goes. All right. She looks so good right now. This might be the best she's looked in well over a year. I mean, just shed perfectly, bright, vibrant, absolutely incredible, definitely has an appetite. All right, it's time to get in with Lucy. I'm gonna go ahead and continue with kind of the smaller rabbits. I'll probably give her like three to kind of build up that digestive system again. Oh my gosh, it's so scary though. Lucy, please don't bite me. Please don't bite me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, please don't bite me. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay, girl. Ah! Woo! <laughs> I know. I, I'm being a wimp lately. Like, what's my problem? Normally, I'm like attacking it, but she was just coming out so much. I thought we had better back on the cage. But she took this rabbit. Like I said, she'll probably take three of those today uh, and start to really beef her up. The next meals will probably go with a bigger meal. Uh, she is looking fantastic and well on her way to beefing back up. Last big girl we're going to feed today is, of course, butterscotch here. And she is definitely looking like she's ready to go too. She's smelling the rabbit in the air. Uh, I don't know, there's no real easy way to do this. Let's just go ahead and give it a shot. All right, what are we gonna do? Oh my God. Whoa! Jesus. Okay. Ah, uh, whoo. Okie dokie. I think that went pretty well. That was good. That's good professional. What a day, it's 6.30, movie night starts in a half hour. Just getting our last things ready and people are gonna show up. We're gonna have a good time, but at least this will be a little more relaxing. guys so we're just wrapping up new night here you know people are just watching the movie gonna go back to that about halfway through something like that call it a night get some rest it was a crazy bonkers day today but tomorrow is gonna be absolutely incredible so let's do that again have an amazing day I love you guys do me a favor be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you tomorrow